Okay. You're right here in the middle. We're hanging out. You and I have talked off camera, and you talk a lot of shit about this truck. I mean, you're talking about the paint. You said it was peeling. Where is it peeling? Where is it peeling at? Oh, it peels all over. It's orange peel. Yeah, it don't look the best. It don't look the best? You know, you talk stuff about the fenders, right? Yeah, I don't know if I like them. And so you feel this way, but who built this truck? I did. I mean, I'd do it again. I got another one I'm building, but it's going to be a better paint job and hopefully a lot better than this one. I honestly think, brother, you're very hard on yourself, you know? I probably am, but... I think it looks beautiful, I like man. it to be perfect, so... You know, I think it looks... And here's the thing, you know, when we talk about do-it-yourself, you're talking four months. Your hard work, sweat, and tears. Let's yep. walk this real quick. Um, before that, introduce yourself, brother. I'm Craig Riffey, Riffey Trucking, out of Baraboo, Wisconsin. That's what's up, man. The Wisconsin boys, man. All you guys be representing, I'll tell you that. I'm friends with Adam. I'm friends with Dante's. I'm friends with... I love all y'all, man. You guys yeah. do really cool stuff. Wisconsin does have a lot of large rides. I will say that. You guys do, man. So, you know, let's talk about what you did within those four months. Let's start from the, the front, and you tell me, and you can talk about the good, the bad, what you didn't like, the hardest parts. Um, I don't even know where to begin, to be honest with you, but every, I mean... Every bushing on the whole entire truck's been changed. Um, the bunk, the cab top, I mean, they're just and unbelievable. You did it all. Yeah. And I, I mean, had did you one, watch one, YouTube videos or what the hell no, did you do? No, I just, I've, I love trucks. I always have. Um, and I have a buddy of mine helped me in the shop the four months, helped me build it. So it's two of us. You want to shout out who that is, man? They'll love it. Brian Alwyn. He's from Baraboo. He did all he did all the welding that we did on it. Um, I don't weld, so he does all my welding. Um, it was a lot of yeah, a lot of late nights, and didn't think it was ever going to be done, but it did. And now I wish, like I said, it ain't perfect, but it is what it is. Hey, I'll tell you this: not a lot of people can say they've touched and built their own truck. So you gotta be proud about that, brother. I, I'm proud of that. I'm, like I said, I'm building the other one. Hopefully it'll be a lot nicer than this one. So it makes me proud. I mean, that's my drive, you know. I, I love trucks, I love cool rides. Obviously I'm a Pete guy. All my trucks are Pete's. Oh yeah, so when you say all your trucks here, uh, let's walk over here. Yep. Um, how many trucks you got? Three, you got four, three? sorry, four. I got three on the road, counting this one myself and then one in the shop that I'm building. That's awesome, man. You know, for the people that are thinking about becoming fleet owners, any advice for them at all? Uh, if you're gonna do it, buy something cool or build it and have pride in what you got. Love that, Take care man. of it. I don't know. I'm all about pride in what you got. That's why I'm here today. How long have you been in the business? Since 2009. 2009. Yep. So, you've been in it for a little bit? Yep. A good while. Long enough, I guess. It's great, man. Um, I think it's beautiful. I mean, uh, what kind of motor do we have in this? Can we pop the hood? Are we ready for that? No. We're not? That's not painted. <laughs> it's got a Cat C6NZ in it. Yeah. 600 horse, 18 speed, 336 rears, uh, 24.5 low pro tires. That's awesome. What year is this truck? 2002. Yep. It's beautiful, man. Thanks. You say what you want to say, man, but I think a lot of people in the comments, they're going to have respect for you that, you know, you put your own sweat and tears into this. And if anyone's going to talk shit about your ride, it better just be you. Yeah, and I mean, I do all every day. Some days I wonder why I don't just park it or... I don't just, it irritates me. I mean, 
shit goes downhill, you know, winter time, of course, you know, it's the salt and it's hard to keep it up to start with. And then being as I painted it, and I'm not proud of that, but. What would you do different uh, with some of the stuff? Because, you know, when talking about this, what have you learned that maybe others can learn from this? Um, I, I mean, myself, I mean, I'd like to actually learn to paint better. I just don't have the time. I got a guy back home now that he's painting my other, the truck I'm building. And so it'll be done, I call it professionally. <laughs> um, be all base clear, you know, done right. This is all single stage, um, which is better for me to paint. But um, yeah, I definitely ain't gonna paint another truck of mine until I figure it out better, I guess. I got that, brother. Yeah, no. At the end of the day, you know, uh, shout outs to anyone out there that uh, helped you get to this level of success, brother, in life. Um, my parents, Aaron and Cheryl Riffy, they, I mean, my grandpa, he's passed away now, but he was, uh, he drove truck when I was a kid. I rode with him some. I kind of do it, not only for that reason, but that's part of it. Um, I mean, there's a lot of people, a lot of people that's helped me, or my father-in-law has helped me. My wife, obviously, for putting up with all the shit that I do, or, you know, I spend in the shop. When I'm home, I'm in the shop. I don't, I go to the house to sleep, and that's it. I don't watch TV. I don't, you know, um, it's, uh, it's definitely a lot of work to try to have something decent, but it, uh, yeah, if my wife, I mean, if my wife wasn't there when I needed her, it'd be a little harder. I heard that, man. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you. Yeah, appreciate Thank you for the you. interview, brother. Thank you. Yeah, hell yeah, brother. That's Thanks. what I'm talking about, man. Thanks. That's it. Bye.